Donald Trump's line. It's crunch time for candidates in the Granite State. I hear you're yes, running yeah. again. Yeah, Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley got an early start Friday, mingling with voters at a coffee shop, hoping that New Hampshire solidifies her place as the alternative to former President Trump. DeSantis and Trump are way out for me. They were never in. They were actually never in. Mary Ellen Molyneux showed up to hear from Haley. New Hampshire allows independents to vote in the primary, and she's considering in changing her registration to be able to participate. I'm close to feeling confident about her in terms of my vote. I'm a registered Democrat, but I feel like I will change my party to independent. Trump railed against New Hampshire's rules on Fox News's Hannity show, saying it artificially props up Haley. They're going to vote for her because they don't want to run against me. They want to run against her. George Washington University professor Todd Belt says allowing independents to vote in the primary better reflects who's more electable in November. It's not a perfect picture of America, but it's a closer picture than Iowa. What's at stake in New Hampshire? whether or not Nikki Haley can really pull away. I think that if we see Donald Trump come in below 50 percent, then that's going to indicate that there's a lot of Republicans who are looking for someone else. Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is in New Hampshire today. Hello, South Carolina. But he shifted resources to South Carolina, where he'll campaign this weekend. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington.